In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make sleek, minimal, and professional title sequences to add to your drone cinematic videos. I'm gonna be doing this in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do it. Let's jump right in. Okay, so how do we add minimal, sleek, and professional, and animated opening title sequences to our footage, to our sequences, using Adobe Premiere Pro? was well, actually really straightforward. And there's two ways where you can add your text to begin with. So I'm gonna show you both. I have this nice clip here that I want to add my opening title sequence to. And the first way you would add text in Premiere Pro is by clicking the type tool here, clicking anywhere on your video and simply typing whatever you want the title to be. And then what you can do is you can open up the text effects options here by clicking the down chevron. And here you can change things. So you can change your font, you can change the text size, you can change the color, and you can move the text around. But there's actually a second, and in my opinion, a better way to add text to your sequences in Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna delete that. And that is by using the Essential Graphics window. If you don't see this, make sure that you're in the Effects layout on Adobe Premiere Pro and click Essential Graphics. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click this new layer icon here and you're gonna to wanna to select Text. Now this looks very similar to before, but it has one major benefit. Firstly, it has a line tools. So before where you would have had to drag your text into where you thought the center of the image was, here we can use the align option. So I can align this vertically and I can align it horizontally. And this puts my text smack bang in the center. The second good thing about this is if I actually add more text, it keeps it in one layer on the timeline. And this just makes it really easy to manage. So now that that's out of the way and you know the two ways you can add your text, I'm gonna do it using the essential graphics method. Let's create a sleek and minimal title sequence. So I'm gonna double click on this text and I'm gonna put in the title of my video. I'm gonna change this back to white because I want the text to be white and I'm going to choose a nice font. I'm gonna choose Montserrat and bold. If you don't see the text changes text effect, as this just happened there for me, make sure you have the text selected. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna change it to white. And I'm actually gonna turn on shadow. I just think this makes the text look a little bit more punchy and professional. And I'm gonna align it center and vertically again. Now, I actually want a second tagline below this title. So I'm gonna click the new layer icon and I'm gonna select text again. I'm gonna drag this just roughly into position there and I'm gonna put a second piece of text then and I'm actually gonna make this Montserrat light and I'm gonna reduce the size of it quite a bit. And I'm gonna align this vertically and horizontally again. Now you can see that these two pieces of text are currently set on the top of each other so we need to space them vertically. So to do this, I'm gonna click on the first piece of text I'm gonna go over to the align and transform options. I'm going to click and then drag on the vertical text position. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna click on the second piece of text and do the same again. And I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so I think this looks great. I'm not gonna drag this to the start of my timeline. And I'm gonna drag my timeline to about two seconds in. Because at about two seconds in, I want my text to look like this. I want to animate this title sequence in, and at two seconds, I want the text to be visible and look like this. So we're gonna add a couple of effects now to make this title sequence fade in. It's gonna be blurry, it's going to be faded out, and it's gonna be slightly smaller, so that as the sequence starts, the text is becoming clear, it's becoming larger, and it's fading in. And that'll give us a really nice, sleek, minimal, and professional opening sequence. So how do we do that? So I'm first gonna click the effects window and I'm gonna type in blur. I'm gonna go down to the Gaussian blur effect and I'm gonna drag Gaussian blur onto my footage. Now, if you haven't used keyframing before, it's a really powerful tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will use it throughout Premiere Pro and it allows you to animate effects, animate position scales, basically animate anything using keyframes. So to turn on keyframes for the effects we need, we want to turn on the toggle animation for opacity. 
we want to turn on the toggle animation for scale and we want to turn on the toggle animation for blurriness. And what you'll have noticed is it's put keyframes at each point in this timeline at the two second mark. So that means at this two second point in time, we want the blurriness to be zero, we want the scale to be 100% and we want the opacity to be 100%. So now if I drag back to the start of the timeline, which is the start of the video, let's change some of these values to how we want it to start, how we want the title sequence to start. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag up the blurriness. So I'm just gonna move it to a value I like. So this value here. And this now means at the start of the video, this is the blurriness level we want the text to be. But because we have it set to zero at the two second marker, as I drag this timeline, you'll see that it goes from that blurry value to that zero value. It really is as straightforward as that. So we're gonna do the same for scale. At the start of the video, I'm gonna have it slightly smaller. So I'm gonna drag it down to about 80. And again, you'll see as I drag this, the text now starts scaling up as well as becoming clear. Now the last thing I wanna do is I wanna drag down the opacity to zero. And this means as the video plays, it's going to fade in the opacity to 100%. And now when I hit play, you'll see that you get this really nice effect as the text fades in, and you get this really professional title sequence to your sequence. Now you can play around with these values. You can change the opacity, scale, blurriness to anything you like, and you can change around the points in time that it comes into frame. And you can also do the reverse of this to make it fade out of frame again if you wish. So it really is as straightforward as that. And hopefully this has shown you that using Adobe Premiere Pro, you can get some really professional title sequences pretty easily following that step-by-step -step guide. Now, if this video has helped you and you've liked it and you've learned something new, then please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and clicking that like button below. And if you like all things drones and you wanna watch some more videos about drones, I recommend checking out my channel where I have a ton of content to help you level up your drone game. Now, if you want to see some of them videos right now, here's a few I recommend checking out. And I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helped. I'll catch you over at one of them videos.